Well, hello, my name is uh, Alfie Smith again, and uh, thank you for watching this, and thanks for uh, the Pace of Blues Festival for allowing this to uh, happen. Um, I'm doing these in sections, that way you have individual chapters. This will be chapter three, and uh, if you haven't watched one and two, please go back to one and two first. Uh, this is chapter three, and we're still in open D tuning. Um, chapter four will be uh, introduction to open G, and then uh, I'll do two more songs probably in open G. Um, so this is the second song in open D tuning. Uh, and this is what they call a 1-5, one, 1-4. One, and I misspoke in the last lesson. Uh, it actually is a 1-4, one, 1-5. One, I said 1-4-5. Um, whenever you talk in ca on the camera, I find uh, people's IQ goes down a little bit. Because uh, you got a lot of other things you're thinking about. You know, I'm not used to watching myself while I play and making sure that everything's recording right. So um, I messed up just a little bit. So it's a 1 4 1 5, the last one. This one is a 1 5 1 4, like I said. All right, so I'm going to play it. I'm going to do uh, probably um, an introduction to it, uh, a couple verses, and then a slide solo, and then a very simplified one. Um, what I, my goal is for you is to play a very simplified one, uh, but once you go through the lessons, this goes for all the, all the, uh, the songs I'm teaching, go back to the beginning and play along. And that way uh, you can uh, have something to go with. All right, so I'm going to play. Um, this is uh, Soul of a Man uh, in the key of D. So that last one was a simplified one that we're going to be working on. Um, so I'm going to teach you the body of the song. And again, we're going to be just, uh, we're going to put the slide down so we find out where everything is first. Once we know where everything is in the song, the body of the song, as I like to call it, uh, then we can start adding things like a little few little tricks and slide. All right, so this song... Uh, It's a little more aggressive than the first song. So what we're doing is with our hands, okay? 
So down. I just screwed up myself. Um, so down. Whatever you have to do to get to that is fine. If it's down strokes or up strokes. I personally like doing down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, and up, down. That's kind of what I like. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if we can do that. Doesn't sound good with the other hand. doing is open on the third fret off on the third fret off third fret off third fret all right so that's the beginning of it practice that for a bit and then we get to the song all right so that's the kind of introduction it gives you that sort of vamp to get your time right to start the song <laughs> feel for it so let's go through it again and see if I can do it without messing up the, the numbers because when I'm doing this I also have the Nashville number system ringing around in my head and the three is still the three the fifth fret is the four and the seventh fret is the five and so sometimes I'm saying four when I mean five and sometimes I'm saying five when I mean seven um, my brain doesn't think about uh, it doesn't name the frets as I go. What it does is it names the uh, notes in the scale more than anything else. It actually doesn't even do that. It just... My brain's somewhat on autopilot at this point of uh, my playing career. So if I start thinking about what I'm doing, <laughs> I just kind of screw up. <laughs> so, um, and actually I'll, I'll mention that. Um, Tom Roberts, uh, also known as Champagne Charlie, he was a uh, uh, a great guitar player and a blues musician. He uh, learned from um, uh, Reverend Gary Davis. Uh, he always said, uh, you want your playing to be in like the back of your brain, back where, you know, your instincts and your respiratory system is. So it should be automatic as your heart beating and your lungs uh, breathing. Uh, and especially your, your fingers, because you don't want to be thinking that much about uh, your your right hand, the rhythm. The rhythm should be like a heartbeat. It should be constant and not changing uh, unless you're going for an effect. Um, so I recommend spending as much time and getting it so you know the song inside and out so you don't have to think about it anymore and you'll become a better player. Um, but let's get back to the song. Sorry, I, I, I went a little uh, obscure there. Um, so, all right, so back to the song. I'm going to add a slide now. All right, so we're doing one, three, one, three, one, three, seven, one, three, five, seven, five, three,
12th fret can take place of the zero or the, the one anytime you want. Um, sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes it sounds better to be open. Sometimes it sounds better to be at the 12th fret. But so that's something else to, uh, to watch for. should talk about is when you're sliding on the fret um, it's important to watch these in uh, in order uh, because there's some things I've said in part two and part one that I'm not going to cover in this um, just because I expect you to watch them in sequence <laughs> hopefully you will um, when you're sliding uh, a big learning curve comes when you're trying to glide more than anything else. So, because if you press too hard, it doesn't sound good. You know? So, the big thing is gliding. And when you slide and when you do that vibrato, you want to go below the note and to the note. If you go past the note, uh, it sounds odd and it sounds wrong. Uh, so you don't want to do that. Um, so if you go past, it sounds like this. And you don't want that. But if you go, you go to the note. All right, so let's go through it one more time. Uh, so... And this time, let's use um, the Nashville number system. So, one is open, uh, and I've been calling one open because I can't help it. I, I, it's a, it seems weird for me to call it open. Um, so, one, and then the four, and then the five. Okay, the four is on the fifth fret, but the five is on the seventh. And then one is again on the twelfth. And this progression, like I said, is a one, five, one, four. All right, so I'm going to call them with the Nashville number system now, so don't be confused, hopefully. One, three. That should be a five. I'm thinking too much, uh, and uh, I screwed up. Let me start again. One, three, one, three, one, three, five. One, three, four, five, four, three, something there and hopefully I didn't screw up too much uh, by the way my name again is Alfie Smith and you can find me on alfiesmith.org or if you want to email me um, find me on Facebook is best or you can reach me at Alfie A-L-F-I-E Z1 or Z1 for our American friends at yahoo.com
thanks so much. And thanks a lot for the Paisley Blues Festival for allowing this to happen.